Recently, I've been learning how to sew because I love to watch the videos where people do like thrifted transformations and they take one old piece of clothing and turn it into something completely new and usually it's more modern and trendy. My dad gave me one of his old shirts that he didn't wear. It was a tan uh, corduroy button up and I knew I wanted to turn it into a dress and I wanted to turn it into like an overall style dress with like pockets and like the big straps. And luckily my mom knows how to sew, so she's basically an expert and fixes all my problems, which is really nice to have. So if you want to see how I turn this men's button-up shirt into a dress, then just keep watching. So here's the game plan. There'd be four main pieces, the straps, the front, the back, and the pockets. I would use one of the sleeves to cut out the straps, one of the sleeves to cut out the pockets, and then I would use the front of the shirt to cut out the front of the dress and the back of the shirt to cut out the back of the dress. So I started cutting off the sleeves. There goes the left, there goes the right. And then I cut off the top collar. Um, goodbye collar. Next I cut out the main dress piece and this is the front and the back. Now this is the back piece that the bottom part's the same, but the top just needed to be a little bit narrower. So here I am cutting out the straps. Because I'm cutting through two layers, you really want to make sure that the fabric won't move, so be sure to pin the layers together. And I went ahead and sewed the straps. So here we go. You can do it. And there she goes. So, 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 so. So after cutting out the pattern and pinning it together and then trying it on, we wanted to see how it looked. And to put it lightly, it didn't look cute. It kind of looked like a potato sack and that's okay because we adapted the pattern by, we took in the sides a lot more, maybe like two inches, and then we cut off like three inches off the top and on the back and we took quite a lot off the straps as well and I originally wanted to keep the bottom hem the curved hem just to preserve the look of the original uh, shirt but that also had to go and we cut that off and straightened it out so it would be the right length so after that we were ready to sew it up and try it on again and I was ready to go sat down and what do you know the bobbin is empty of course so I filled up the bobbin and got to pinning on the pockets and kept going on. There she goes, sewing again. It's a different day, different shirt. Don't forget to iron your seams. And here is the end result. Look at her go, there's the back. Now her hands are in the air and her mouth is open. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I probably won't be taking on another sewing project for a little while because that took mm, two to three days longer than I expected it to, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you're interested in more videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Ooh.